Hi, this is Todd. I'm at Big Cottonwood Canyon um, in the shade. We're finding uh, one of the uh, more versatile larval food plants for butterflies, stinging nettle. Um, I would, by way of caution, for those of you who know, uh, do not handle stinging nettles with bare hands unless you know what you're doing uh, because it can uh, cause a lot of pain. Anyway, the caterpillars that we're looking for today, see if I can zoom in on these and get it to focus, are the Milbert tortoiseshell. Now, Milbert tortoiseshells are gregarious. It means females, when they lay eggs, they lay them in clutches of 50 to 150 eggs per clutch. And so what we're seeing here is a young second instar. Over here is some of the skeletonizing damage on the leaf that the young larvae can cause. As I uh, pan in on some of these plants, there's an enormous amount of chew marks and damage. Um, actually, there's a caterpillar right there. I, there, I just nipped off the plant and turned on my uh, macro lens so that we could focus a little bit better on this caterpillar. Yeah, and I've moved a few feet away from the other um, patch of stinging nettle, about 10 feet away, to another patch of stinging nettle. And uh, we were talking about Milbert tortoiseshells. Now I want to talk a little bit about the unique nests that are made by satyr commas. We zoom in on this particular plant here. I'm going to reach down to this given nest. Uh, satyr commas like to break uh, the stem on the mid vein and bend the leaf back, exposing the ventral side of the leaf as opposed to the dorsal. This is what makes the satyr comma, Polygonia satyrus nest, somewhat unique over Milbert tortoiseshells. Uh, red admirals or painted ladies. So, if I break off this and then try to see if I can zoom in on this nest, you can feel for what it looks like. If I break it open and look inside, as you can see here, the caterpillar is not a Milvus tortoiseshell or a uh, red admiral. Uh, but this coloration, it's a fifth instar caterpillar of the Theta Karma, and it's not generally hard to find uh, nests in patches of stinging nettle. Um, let me show you another nest here. You see how the, uh, the nest has been broken at the mid vein and bent back. Um, contrast that nest to this nest right here. Um, and I'll go ahead and open that in a second. That's probably either a Milbert's tortoiseshell or a red admiral or a fighter, and we'll find out. Okay, I've opened the nest on this, and it is indeed a fourth in star. That's the fifth of the Milbert's tortoiseshells. Uh, usually, like I say, they're gregarious, and when you find a few Milbert eye, you'll find quite a few. Okay, just a quick review of the Seder common nest. You'll see the types of nests that they like to make. And then when you turn it upside down and look in, you can see the caterpillar. Um, um, as you can see, just turning around. Then when I look inside the nest, there is a fifth instar larva of Polygonia satyr. So, uh, this is a really cool butterfly as long as you're okay handling stinging nettle. Uh, might be a good one to raise. Thanks.